All right, everyone. So next up on the deck tech series is a little mono red hazard. Um also known as Ramianap Red, although that's kind of a bad name, but we can get into that another time. Not here, nor there. So, what is this deck trying to do? Well, this deck is trying to out-aggro you. Skull, Soul Scar Mage, Falcon Wrath Gorger, Urshir Kenra, Carry Zev, Oncrop Crasher, Hazret, and Chandra as finishers. So, what makes this deck so deadly? If this deck's only trying to out-aggro me with a bunch of haste threats, can't I just beat it with life gain? Can't I just beat it with sweepers? Well, not so fast. One of the best cards in the hat in the deck, Hazard the Fervent, has Indestructible, so Sweepers might not work all the time. Chandra is also not a creature. They have a ton of Burn, Incendiary Flow, Shocks, Collected Defiance, and they have the sneaky Ramunap Ruins card. If they ever get you to 4, 6, 8, they can just kill you right from there. They have Sunscored Desert, the Pingin for a little bit of damage. They have Ramunap Ruins. I would estimate that in the average game, the lands are doing 3 to 4 damage, right? Usually going to draw like a Sunscored Desert with or a Ramunap Ruins, one or the other. Sometimes both, sometimes two Deserts, sometimes two Ruins, and you're going to be able to go to work. Now, the Seagate Wreckage I think is really good. I think it's good enough that you could take away another mountain. The problem is it's not a Desert but it gives you tons of long game potential. The real great part about this deck is the ability to sideboard into a control deck. So you can take out all the couriers, take out all the mages, take out all the Fackenroth Gorgers, put in your Glorybringers, your Chandras, your Hazard, your Sweltering Suns, your PNLR, and you can really play a control deck, right? You can really play like five drops, four drops, tons of removal, Seagate Wreckage, double Seagate Wreckage for card advantage. Just, you can really go to town here. Now, is this deck still the best deck in the format? If you have it, should you play it for a GPDC, for a PTQ, whether it's on MTGO or otherwise? Should you play this deck? I don't know. It really depends on two things. Is there going to be a lot of control in the meta? Do you think everyone's still out to hate this deck, and are you good at playing it? This deck's not the easiest to play. There are a lot of spots where you have to figure out like which burn spell to play, um, how to play your outs effectively, your opponent's at eight and they have two creatures and you have one, like what's the series of cards you can draw to win the game? Like there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on. Also, in certain metas, there's a ton of hate, right? Kalidus is a great card against you. Aether Free Harvester is a good card against you. Whirler Virtuos is a good card against you. So depending on how much hate there is in your meta, and if you think you're going to be proficient at playing this deck, I really think being a good player with this deck is like a 8% edge or something over the bad player like knowing it just I mean as simple as it sounds but knowing like what to kill what you can get by when to exert your on crap crasher or when to use your earth seeker Kenra is like that kind of stuff really does matter um and so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a huge edge built in with this deck just to good players that being said I do still think this deck is powerful and a pretty safe buy if you're looking for something that is rotato proof um, and what I mean by that is there is a big standard rotation coming up here in the next month or so. Uh, rotation is standard, which is where a bunch of cards don't become become not legal, and then a bunch of new cards do become legal. And fortunately for this deck, a lot of the cards that are becoming not legal aren't in this deck. So you're pretty safe there. Uh, I do think this is a good choice. The reason I'm not playing is because I think everyone's out to hate it. And I don't think it's the most powerful deck. Um, that's probably the reason I'm going to play Teamer. I think a lot of the best decks right now have good matchups. Obviously, the blue-white approach deck does not have a great matchup here, but the matchup's reasonable if you, like, hold on to your Blessed Alliances and stuff. Anyways, I do think this is, of course, a good choice. A lot of people already have these cards. This deck isn't super expensive outside of Hazret and Chandra, so you can do some things there. You can definitely get this together. I do think this is a fine deck. I think it's a pretty good choice in most metagames the problem is, is if you're running to a bunch of colitises and aether sphere harvesters you're just going to go one for whatever you can to be hated out right fortunately the sideboard plan kind of prevents that right you get hazard chandra's glory bringers who cares if they bring in their colitises you just play your five drops but it is still kind of a big deal so if your meta is right this deck can still take advantage and i think purchasing this deck is a pretty good long-term buy so i'll see you for the next and final deck tech thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you again soon